See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah, I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways? I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time, he's not getting away unscathed. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them, too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Oh, well, that explains all the zombie noises. What world is that? Well, oh, some sort of like zombie spawner. Does that mean White Pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. What's that? I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the White Pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. Get up there. I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petro. We're going climbing. Okay. I think we can jump from here. Almost embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like cats. sort of growing station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have heard us. Ah! Stampy cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Looks like we're catching you in the act, white pumpkin. No, no, not me. That's not me. I was just curious. Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow, who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Well, why didn't you tell anyone? I was scared, okay? People started dying, and then I, I didn't want them to think that I did it. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? I think you should give it back to Dan. It's only fair. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's better. 
That looks like a lair door if I ever saw one. Creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. <laughs> oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. Those poor people. You guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the White Pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet, anyway. I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, an ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty. Oh, stupid cats. I need something to distract it if I'm gonna get that chest open. Come on, kitty! You're interfering with my investigation. Perhaps it would leave if you gave it some sort of delicious treat. Where am I gonna get something like that? Yeah, and I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Ah! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat'll love this. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Ah, oh, many cats. So many cats. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. At least I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. 
there was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay, so who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is Stacy. No, um, actually, her portrait's right there. Yeah, uh, Cassie's actually the one with the missing portrait. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. Oh. She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tork Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie Rose was already in the room. No one else there. And Tork Dog's picture was somehow crossed Th out. That doesn't prove anything. Lucas is still way guiltier looking. Well, what about what came next? When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh, I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. You're doing great, Jesse. Now go in for the kill. Metaphorically. But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well... I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know, I was shocked too. I'm relieved, but also surprised. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly, nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you, so I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! Wow, that sounds really hard. Of course, I can't really empathize because, see... I have a portal key. You really wanted one of these, huh? What, you little... We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault! You did this to me! 
I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! I'll... Whoa! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Yeah! Yeah! Wait! Look! I can't believe it! She's gone! What a way to go! Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. That's awful. After everything she did, she got what she deserved! If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh! Yeah, that is... yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone, I just can't stop thinking about them. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so, the drama continues. Fascinating. Hey, it's cool. Guys, you can share it. You make, like, your own Order of the Stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with yes, that. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. Yes. Hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's strange. I thought... Oh! What happened? I can't see a thing. Well, that's... ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! 
Just like I've been in this rotten world. Come on, Cassie. Just let us go, and we can go our separate ways. After everything you've done to me? No. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Just because I hate this place doesn't mean it's so bad. I'm sure you're way dumber than I am. You'll probably acclimate and learn to love it. Hey, I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? How about we share? 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 What, you want to walk through some portal happily holding hands and stab me in the back later? Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Wings for my pet. Activate the trap! Want something done right, Captain? Prepare for your death! <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm going to get up to the control panel. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster. She booby-trapped her booby traps? That is so par- What? You thought you could do it just like that? Time to get leverage? Give me that key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. You guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grew tired of this game, Jesse. The key? You didn't have it either! Oh no, it's mine! Nope. Going home. No, you can't do this. I've waited too long. It's mine, Cassie. I won't let you have it. No, 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 Winslow. Don't touch that. No, 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 Winslow. Stop it! Winslow! Good boy! Sweet kitty! Bring back to Master! Here, kitty, kitty! Here, kitty, kitty! No! No! Ah, there you are! After all this time, I'm free! Winslow, we have to go! What have I told you about wandering off? I think you should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are INCREDIBLY TENACIOUS! <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever! Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! Oh, come on. Oh, I love him. You know I love you, but you're very tired.
tired sometimes. Hey, cats suck! What did you say? You heard me, cats suck. Pigs are way cooler. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. What's going? Ah, I've got it! Excellent! I did it! You're all dying now! Uh, no, thank you! Got it! I bet you're real proud of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Enderpearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up! Trapped. In my own trap! <laughs> of course. Of course. You got what you deserve, Cassie. You've been ruthless and selfish and mean, and this is where it gets you. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow, he's my best, my only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team, we all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! All right, what's going on dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech and boom, I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is gonna be an amazing adventure. <laughs>